The commander of Operation Safe Haven, Chukwe Mekao Konko, has described the killings in southern Kaduna as the activities of criminal elements on both sides and not ethnic cleansing, as it is being claimed. Major General Konko said both sides of the conflict have been attacking each other. Let me say that uh, it is not uh, ethnic cleansing. Uh, what we have or what we had were attacks on some communities and reprisal attacks. It has nothing to do with ethnic cleansing. And uh, a lot is being done. If one or two attacks took place, perhaps three were prevented. Uh, obviously, there are some gaps, and we have uh, reviewed our operations. We are going to close the ranks. We are going to be more robust. Uh, and uh, from the days to come, you will see an improvement in the security in Southern Kaduna. We can assure you. Obviously, it's not entirely a military issue. Uh, the, the community leaders and other stakeholders will be carried along. They have to decide to embrace peace, and we'll give them the conditions environment to meet and have peace parties, meetings, and mediations to bring this crisis to an end. A lot has been done, and we have decided to work assiduously. We will close ranks, and the governor has pledged to support us wherever they are shot for. I can see both sides. We both sides. Yeah, we have cleans on both sides. Do not balance the reports are not balanced. Perhaps uh, most of the media houses don't know. Both sides are actually involved. So when you say both sides, who are the, what are the sides? You have uh, the Qatar youths, the Fulani militia, and the criminal elements of both parties. Some people are leveraging the security situation to carry out or perpetuate uh, criminal activities, aside from the communities involved. Of course, you know, there are remote uh, causes for what is happening. It's just an incident is enough to spark off any crisis in that area. Of course, you know the, the remote causes of uh, what is happening. They had their lingering disputes and animosity, banditry, and banditry criminality, cattle rustling. And uh, like I said, criminals are leveraging you know, the situation to also perpetuate their criminal acts.